Well, as we've been reporting, this year's Buck Day's Illuminated Night Parade will not use the traditional Leopard Street route. Construction for the New Harbor Bridge forced organizers to make some changes. And here's our Greg Channer now with more on those changes. Two months from now, this part of Staple Street is going to be a whole lot busier. That's because the annual Buck Day's Night Parade is going to wrap up just a few blocks away on Buford Street. Now, most businesses I spoke with are excited about the route change. They just wish they had heard about it before today. Construction of the New Harbor Bridge has already changed traffic patterns around the city. The latest change? The route for the annual Buck Day's Illuminated Night Parade. It's just a little off for me, but hopefully everything works out good. Instead of Buck Stadium, this year's parade starts at the American Bank Center. It will make its way down Chaparral before turning right and heading up the hill at Schatzel. The parade then merges onto Leopard, but in the opposite direction than it usually does towards City Hall. There it'll make the left turn onto Staples for the first time ever. The parade will go right past Garibaldi Restaurant. This is, will be good that day. Gilbert Gomez is the night manager at Garibaldi. He expects to work the night of the parade and lots of customers. We'll have customers, but at the same time, we will have those blocking customers from coming into our restaurant that weekend. Gomez says he's not worried about people camped out on Staples before the parade because Garibaldi's entrance is on Blucher Street. Other businesses aren't as lucky. We typically work on Saturdays sometimes. Hopefully they won't be camping out. We can't get our parking places. Chuck Giffen moved his roofing business to Staples Street last year. He wonders why organizers chose this route. It's an interesting little neighborhood here. We like it. It's a great place to work, but it'll be interesting to see what happens when the parade comes by. Now, a big part of the Buck Day's parade is marking your spot and camping out the night before. Well, this year, pre-marking will only be allowed from Schatzel to Buford starting the day before the parade and can only start camping after 5 o'clock. As for Chaparral, no pre-marking and no camping out. Those spectators can start lining up at 8 a.m. Saturday. Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News.